Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to a new video. Ki hal chal. I hope you guys are doing good. In this, we're gonna see a problem. Assign elements to group with constraints. Uh, again, sorry for being in the video a bit late. Uh, I was in insurance claims. Okay, I'll tell you later on. But it simply says that, uh, you know, you are given some integer array groups where a group of i represents the size of the ith group. So you are seeing that you are given these groups and where each element this group of i represent the size of that i get group now what they are asking is you have to assign one element to each group so you are given some elements you have to assign some elements to each group and how the assignation will happen that will happen that an element j can be assigned to a group i if group of i is divisible by element of j so this group of i is, is divisible by 4 also it is divisible by 2 also so you have to find smallest index j smallest index j such that it divides my group of i for this case you will see both of them divide but 4 is the smallest index one that's the reason answer is 4 for this one 4 again 4 is the smallest index answer is 4 answer is 0 the index of what element is dividing same way uh, if i go on further i will see okay three there is no one which divides three on the element side answer is minus one for two the smallest element you know sorry the smallest not the smallest but the smallest indexed which divides uh this thing thus it will be two as you can see answer is one and then ultimately uh, you will see for four the smallest indexed element which divides Group of i is again index 0, which is a value 4. And that's how you can get it. Cool. So how you have to do it? Again, um, you just simply have to figure out what is what they are requiring. They are saying that group of i is divisible by element of j. If I ask you for group of i, what are elements divide group group of i? Simple. All the divisors of group of i divides group of i. So which means that i can easily figure out all the divisors or you can say factors of 8. How I can do that? Again, if you don't know, then we have discussed entire factor divisors in this, you know, uh, crash course. You can simply watch it. And if you want, you can practice uh, maths number theory in the practice problem sheet as well on cosine.com. Now, coming on back, uh, we realize that we can simply find divisors. How we can do it? For number 8, up till the square root, if we iterate on all the numbers, which means 1, 2, and again, uh, roughly square root of 8 lies in 1, 2 in itself. Let's say if I ask 36, square root of 36 is 6. So I will iterate on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So 1, 36, other one is 36. 2, 36, other one is 18. 3, 36, other one is 12. And uh, 4, 36, 8. So that's how I can simply, you know, divide my uh, all the numbers. Now, when this is done, okay, 5 will not have any of the other devices. So how I can iterate? I can simply iterate up till this point. And this is nothing but square root. Again, this is all everything we have discussed in this crash course. You can simply go and watch it. We can simply iterate on first half, you know, one of the devices. So for one, another pair of divisor is 36. For two, another pair of divisor is, you know, 36 by 2, 36 by 2, which is nothing but 18. And if let's say for three, 36 by 3, another pair is 12. Four, 8 for 36. So another pair is 8. So I can simply iterate up to square root of n. Let's say if this is n, I can iterate up to square root of n elements. And with that, I can simply check if that number, which means if that is, let's say if I'm iterating from i, 1 to up to square root of n, that i, number i divides my n, then it's a divisor. And obviously, if i divides n, I will also check n by i because that also is one of the divisor. Again, when I say check, I mean not to do a double counting. Here in this case, 6. I, let's say 6. So n by 6, you know, 36 by 6 is again a 6. So n by i can also be 6. So, you know, make sure that you don't do a, do a counting twice. Again, everything is discussed in this crash course as well. So with that, we figured out that for each number, I can figure out its square root in under root of that number. Let's say the number is big n. So, which means that I have to figure out, okay, uh, what that group of i value can be. If I go down, look at the constraints, group of i value can be 1 e 5, which means that for any number in one, under root of 1 e 5, you know, which is obviously le like more than, uh, you know, uh, 100 and less than, uh, less than, 
1 e 3. So we easily figure out that for each and every size, I can figure out it's all divisors in under root of this time. Again, considering my n also, which means the group size also is 1 e 5. This is also 1 e 5. Let's say this is m. Let's say this is n. So my time complexity to figure out all the divisors for all the numbers, because again, for one of the divisor, it will be under root of m. For all of them, it will be n into under root of m. That will be my time. And obviously, n is 1 e 5. Under root of uh, m will be around, you know, more than 100. But it will still work under 1 e time complexity. So now I figure out, okay, this piece is sorted that for each and every number, let's say 8, 4, 3, 2, 4, I am easily able to figure out all of its divisors. Now, the only task is while I am iterating on all of its divisors, simply check, do I have a 1? Okay, no, I don't have a 1. Do I have a 2? Yes, I have a 2. Its index is 1. Okay. Do I have a 4? Yes, I have. Its index is 0. So minimize that value. Do I have a 8? No. Okay. So minimum value is 0, which I could achieve. So what I did, I simply went on to a number or you can say a size. I iterated on all of its divisors. I did on all of its divisors. And with that iteration, I easily figured out that, you know, simply going on to it and checking in my elements. So, so you know, that, that check itself should be very fast. So now I realized that I, I have to go and check, which means that I have to maintain that, okay, this element, well, let's say 4, is at what index? This element 2 is at what index? And again, I need the first occurrence. So for element 5, the first occurrence is 0. Element 3, the first occurrence is 1. So with this hash map, it will tell me the availability of any of the divisor and also its smallest index. How I will use that? I will leverage this specific index, you know, element index hash map by when I will sim when I will when I will be iterating on all of its divisors, I will check. Do I have one in my hash map? No. Okay, ignore. Do I have two in my hash map? Yes. Which means that one, you know, one is the answer for this specific group of i of eight. But again, I have to try for all the uh, I have to try for all the possible divisors, which means I have to try for four also. Then it, it will say zero. So minimize that result because you know that you have to minimize it. You have to get the smallest index j. So minimize that index j. Then 8, okay, I don't have it. So for this 8, while iterating on all of its divisors, I achieved the answer as 0 and simply update that answer. And that's how you can simply track it. Cool. Now, uh, you will repeat it for all of the numbers. And you know, for each number, which means you have in total have n numbers. For each number, the square root can be under root of m times. And while iterating on the square root, I have done a pre-computation for every element and the corresponding index. Thus, it will be pretty sorted. And thus, I can simply get my answer. Cool. And that's the code also. Let's say if I show you the code. Uh, firstly, I made a hash map. Hash map will say element index. I will go into all the elements and will check if that element is already updated in my hash map, then don't update it. If it is not updated in my hash map, which means this element is not inside my hash map, only and only in that case, make sure to update that element with its corresponding index. Why this is required? This is required because you know that you have to keep track of the first for the specific element, the first index which I encounter. Okay, now let's say if I go on forward, I will go on to all the corresponding size, right? How I will do that? I will simply say that, you know, go and try for each and every size, go and try for all the divisors. And as I told you, for a specific size, if I'm trying for divisor, I'm trying from one to under root of size, right? This is what I'm doing right now. But divisor is one of the one. Another pair of this will be size divided by divisor is another divisor itself. So this is one divisor. Another, another divisor is size by divisor. So I will try firstly, if the size divides my divisor, which means that this divisor is actually a divisor. If that is the case, then make sure that do you have that divisor as an element inside your element index hash map? If yes, make sure to minimize the minimum index. Now this is you have done for one pair. Another pair will be size by divisor as another candidate. So do the same thing that check firstly check that divisor is not equal to size by divisor. This is the same condition that one of the divisor is six size is 36 by six. So this will give you another divisor as six only. So this is called as like unnecessary counting. Although in, in this case you are simply minimizing it. So this will not impact your answer, but still 
you know it's a simple pruning again i mentioned that if you even ignore this condition in this example it will not impact right okay now continue further you will simply check that simply check size by divisor as another divisor is it there in your index map if yes okay great then make sure to minimize the index so this is how you tried to move your every divisor from one to square root of n and then tried and then tried to divide that number you know and if it is great if not like if it is great if not then okay move on if it is then try for d and size by d both of the devices ultimately uh make sure that you assign the index minimum index which you have found out by iterating on all the devices if not then minus one because default value was int max if it is still default which means you did not find any of the devices which could actually divide uh that number you know that specific size then okay minus one if not then you have the divisor and ultimately return the assigned array cool because of this the time will be o of n into root m again as i told you n here is also 1 e 5 root m is also 1 e 5 thus this will easily work in under one second space in this case you're not you're not using any extra space apart from this hash map the hash map will take o of n time for all of your n elements i should say rather uh, m elements this is for this elements right so let's say if this element size would have been z so it should be o of z rather in this case cool i hope you got it again make sure that you want to practice make sure to come to the practice sheet and practice math and number theory if not then do make sure that you watch this crash course bye bye take care